Kev, when did you become the workout junkie, man? Because mm. you be going in. I worked out before I came here. You be going. You just showed me some shit on. I got to start learning how that's to breathe. My, uh, that's my drug of choice. Yeah. Because it make me feel good. It make me cognitive before I go do anything. And it's, it, it allowed me to raise my frequency. Yeah. Like, I got a frequency chart on my phone, and it show, like, the different levels of frequency that you operating out of. Like, on, on my frequency chart, desire is a lower frequency than anger. Like, we was just talking about wanting what somebody else have, desire. Mm -hmm. That's a vibrating at a lower frequency than even anger, even getting mad. And... Every day I get up and I, I raise my frequency because it make me feel good. Because mm -hmm. I used to do drugs. I used to drink lean. I used to smoke weed. I used to do those things. But I don't believe in rehab. Rehab is for quitters. Mm -hmm. I don't do rehab. Mm -hmm. I just replace those habits with healthier habits. Mm -hmm. And how was it? How was it hard? Was it hard for you to kick that? Or was it? No. You just said You know who made me, um, uh, who made me really stop drinking, sir? Who? Oh. I ain't never told nobody this. This is my first time saying this. Gucci, man. Shout out to Gucci. He told me, Kevin, if you think about it, it ain't nothing but cough syrup. That's what he told me. He, <laughs> Gucci man made me stop drinking syrup. And I said, you right. <laughs> <laughs> you said, I'm addicted to <laughs> NyQuil. <laughs> that's, that's, who, that's who made me stop drinking syrup. Because y'all was in the studio just? Nuh-uh. I used to call him every morning. I used to be like, good morning, CEO. He would be like, good morning, CEO. And... And I used to, we used to like share like health tips with each other, mm -hmm. but he was already together. You know what I'm saying? He had already been on his fitness journey before me. So he was like, I don't drink syrup. I don't do none of that shit no more. I was like, all right. He said, if you think about it, it ain't nothing but cough syrup. Damn. And I was like, damn, you right. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Cause, cause you know, like your whole aura is that, you know, you always been a confident you always been a new who, who knew who you was. Mm -hmm. Did the weightlifting journey add any confidence to your shit? I'm through the roof now. But I'm still kind of shy when I get on stage. Like the first two, three songs, I be kind of shy. And I think it's beautiful because when, when I look at myself, I be like, he vulnerable. And other people see it too. And I get on it. Like before I sing my, my first song, I be like, y'all give me a minute. Let me gather myself. I'm so nervous. Cause I be nervous and it's not nervous out of fear. It's just nervous because I care. I don't want to make a mistake. I want whatever I deliver you to be perfect. Right. Mm -hmm. So I be kind of nervous a little bit. Now so, I ask that because you know, from a person from the outside looking in there, look at somebody like you and be like, feel like, you know, you always had all the confidence. You always get, just getting in shape. Ain't do nothing for your confidence. It just, yeah. just got you in shape. But they all yeah. know that you human too. You got the, you you got all ripped up on them, and now you're coming out. I, I, I see. I'm, I ain't, I'm gonna be honest. Um, I see. You, bro. Now when I walk in a room, it's a different type of confidence. Yeah, it's a different type of level of self respect because I know I did what other people didn't do before I walked in the room. You know, I honored the commitments that I made to myself, and. Discipline and self restraint equals self respect, and self respect equals self confidence. So if I don't work out and I walk in a room, I'm gonna feel a little off because mm -hmm. I didn't honor the commitments I made to myself. But when I honor the commitments I made to myself, I'm confident I'm through the roof because I did what I was supposed to do. How long it took you before you got addicted to it? Uh, so I know I, it, so at as, first so when you started mm -hmm. off, it so was as, like, ah, my legs. My arms, that should be killing you. No, I was. I had, a a, I had a, a frustration. I was angry when I went in there because I don't know if you ever heard me tell you when I was fat and I had titties, I was holding that baby and that baby was trying to suck my titty and everybody <laughs> laughed at me. Okay. I needed that. And when they laughed at me, I was able to be naked. <laughs> Yo, yeah. They saw, I, I was able to, I was able for, I couldn't hide. I couldn't hide behind the. Fuck working out, bitch. I'm trap house sexy. I'm on the block sexy. Or uh, I used to walk in the room and point out everybody else's flaws, so couldn't nobody see me. That fucked you up, man. When everybody, cause you know, especially when you're a gangster, you know when everybody laughing, they trying to like secretly laugh, but you seeing everything you and they peep that. Shit. You like oh, and this then shit. I'm like, man, here take the baby. When I said take the baby, everybody bust out laughing like. Kee, 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 kee. 
and I felt so small. Yeah. And I'm I was, sorry, Kev. I was I like, can't secretly with. laugh. No, but see, this is the twist, though. This is the thing. <laughs> I needed that, though. Yeah. But in they our culture. They turned me into a monster. They turned you into a monster. That day the baby yeah, tried crazy. sucking the titties. Turned me into a yeah. monster. In, in, our, in our culture, we're taught, we're taught not to feel. <laughs> <laughs> my bad, bro. I he, mean, he, just, he making me laugh. <laughs> you know how you be in the class, and he making me laugh. I ain't trying to laugh. He making me laugh. <laughs> no. Oh, shit. So, God. So, so what's crazy is that 